Hello guys, thank you very much for watching my latest video. Today I'm going to be playing Gary's Mod. If you, remember, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like or share it with your friends. So, without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Sonic Screwdriver in Gary's Mod. Now for those of you who don't know, this is an add-on for Gary's Mod created by Dr. Matt. And basically it adds the ability to have a Sonic Screwdriver in the game. And I think the instructions on it is simple. It's just um, opening doors, point and press. You can just point around and look wherever. And it makes the whizzing sound. It even has the light effect, which is pretty neat. And so I'm going to be showing you how to use it. Now, it doesn't actually have a lot of function. I don't believe it actually even does damage to other players or NPCs. But its main purpose is to be used with his other add-on, the TARDIS add-on. Now, I don't know if this works with the rewrite or anything. So I'm going to just be using the normal one. You just hold Alt and left click to link with the TARDIS, so you can aim it at the TARDIS. Or I believe you can go inside and aim it at the roof. And you just do the same thing, it toggles to link and unlink. Now you don't have to press any buttons inside the TARDIS to set this up or anything. You can just spawn it in and immediately do this. So really, the main functions are, if you point at the ground and left click, it will set the TARDIS de destination, which will allow you to go into the TARDIS and use the um, the throttle to just simply teleport there if I set it up. I don't know. The, um, yeah, this is quite confusing. Uh, it sets the destination lets you teleport there. I believe right click does this basically the same thing. But here's where it gets interesting. If you left click while aiming at the TARDIS, it will lock it from the outside. That way you don't have to go inside, run all the way up here, and press the wibbly lever which is a pretty neat feature I like to use, especially in other sandbox servers when I'm working on some other project, don't want people stealing my TARDIS. Another good safeguard is when you right click and aim at it, it'll phase it out so it's no longer visible. You can still walk into it and sometimes I've seen like tool tips over here that'll tell you who owns the prop and it'll tell you their name if you're looking at it, but it, it's pretty neat. It makes it invisible and you can still like drag it around and stuff and then lose it <laughs> um... where'd he go? Okay. and another main feature which if you saw my tutorial on how to use the programmable flight mode in the TARDIS is if you press the reload key it will move the TARDIS to the destination you have set using just by aiming at the ground with the sonic screwdriver so it'll teleport over here in three, two, one about now. Did it even... what? Where'd it go? Okay. So it'll say TARDIS moving to aim pause. And that's what I forgot to mention. Aim pause. Aim position is where you were looking at. and It'll immediately teleport there like so. Now, as I said earlier, you can left click or right click at the ground and it will set the destination. What that does is it'll actually just set up the destination. You have to use reload if you set the destination so if you set the destination using the sonic screwdriver, you have to press reload using the sonic screwdriver for it to take effect. And I think you have to like not be looking at a wall or anything, because if you do like this, it'll just move to the aim position. And um, yeah, that's basically about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and be sure to check in for more of my awesome stuff. Have a nice day.